four man rush plenty of time and both quarterbacks more of a runner sometimes comes in and play and has started Cooper takes a wildcat snap Farrell Cooper out to the 36 yard Orth with Wilds as his running back Wilds will get the carry picks up a couple of yards good to try to play Orth flushed doesn't slide head first dodge and run with this new wrinkle offense quick out and that is quite a story the man who made that Florida comes to the four-man rush great throw a better catch a huge hit from Nick Walker has been moved to offense number 28 is in the backfield he'll lead block for Wilds and Wilds will only get a yard kind of the new sideline erupted it's really added nice energy to the team four wide receivers set or throws incomplete need to do better than three and out on this possession or pump fake now in trouble and down he goes back at the 23 yard line was with he and Bullard inside and there's Brantley going one-on-one -on, -one on left guard Mike Matulis it's the inside hand every time. We saw that earlier with Bullard with those the hands inside the offensive linemen. That time he stuck his inside hand. Orth won another screen. This is a tight end screen. Did I think I've gotten zero this year. Well, then you'd have to get better. And Orth will just get rid of that before he's passed through spring and summer, and boy, has it paid off. Pass underthrown, intercepted. Picked off by Jay. See, and they got a lot more pressure. So far, not much pressure up front. Childs, the running back, he'll get the carry. Picks only a couple of yards up on that run against a very. Bullard. It's a big deal for Florida. Guy wasn't expected to play. Pressure on Orth, and they got him. Brian Cox, Jr. Callister out with what, what looks like a right foot or ankle injury, so. Back shoulder throw intended for Hay. Can throw. Has three touchdown passes in his career, but he'll run this one. And Cooper will pick up seven. That's about the first time on first. Little swing to Cooper. Perfectly diagnosed and stopped. Have a baseball coach be named the athletic director of a uh, major school. I can only think of one other guy that was Skip Bertman at LSU. Doc, back to you. Steve Spurrier leaves in the middle of the year. All the coaching staff wonders what is going to happen to them. You know, their futures are up in the air, but I think that's honor of his father. He's on the staff as a wide receiver coach, but if you go back to it's nice to hear that coach They're fading hopes alive as well. Well, there you go. A freebie. Brantley got across early, it appeared. But Elliott was brought here by Steve Spurrier five years ago. Offside on the defense, number 57. Five-yard penalty results. Can South Carolina mount another drive? Well, yes, they can. A perfect, especially inside 40 yards. I don't Trying know how to much. get something on the ground, but Brandon yeah. Wilds can't get anything. And because you'll take the three and then try the onside kick. Four-man rush, time. Great catch near the 40. Inside the 20 to try to win. Well, Wilds again. I think you want to tear this page out yeah. of the playbook. Yeah, and it's you just not work, man. You can hear <laughs> nothing bad can happen. Worth again with time. Cooper. Touchdown! PAT. The fans the are streaming out of here after that stunning run. And this is going to be incomplete. Brandon Wilds out. They put together some offense. There, He's out with his assistants doing a terrific job keeping the recruiting fires burning during this time. And I hope that they give him quarters of a season as a head coach. I agree he's a, a smart guy offensively, of course. Fourth under pressure, but, scrambles. But he, and lo and behold, first year for Jim McElwain and his staff. And, and here we go with the 
lateral Ruski. 